What's happening, guys? Tun Jones here at Air Force Air Guns. You ready for another episode of Research and Destruction? Well, here it is. Today, we're explaining the Ring Lock Valve Kit. Here's the breakdown. The 232 orifice only comes in 22 and 25 caliber for the Condor and Condor SS. The 166, 145, and 123 are available in 177 through 25 caliber. Now, my personal favorite, the 070, shooters can modify these themselves for their own energy level settings. This kit also includes three spare O-rings and two valve cap lock wrenches. Now, let's head over the range and see how these bad boys work. Okay, we're on the range, and we're gonna start out with what comes on the new Condor and Condor SS stock. And I'm gonna shoot a string and see when I drop below 2,000 PSI on the call of quits. Then we're gonna swap over and show you the .145 orifice and shoot a string and see when it drops below 2,000 PSI. That's just to help show you the versatility with this ring lock kit you can get in your Condor and Condor SS. I wanna start shooting. We're gonna fast forward through this so you don't have to watch me run a string of shots. We'll stop, show you the valve swap out, how quick and easy it is, and run the next string. Here we go. We're going to be shooting JSB Diablos 25.39 grain, 25 caliber pellets. Love these things. Let's get started. Don't forget hearing protection. Tank is stabilizing. This will be the twentieth shot, and we still have almost 2,020 PSI, and let's see what happens. Okay, with the 233 valve, the orifice, we were able to get 20 shots, and on the 20th shot, after firing it, we dropped down to 1900 and roughly 1975 psi so let's stop this group show you how easy it is to swap out to a different orifice and run another string okay guys this is how easy it is in the kit you see what you get there's the two tools you get your caps and I remind you this very last cap is so you can make your own orifice. You can design it, drill it out to whatever specs you want. That's the ultimate in versatility is that little guy right there. And three more O-rings. So here's the tools. Here's the 0.145 orifice. Let me show you how easy it is to pop this sucker up. Okay, this is how easy it is to change out your valve pin cap. First, grab your two wrenches. On the cap itself, and on the locking ring, there are wrench flats. The wrenches slide on there, break it free. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna spin this cap off. Not too difficult. Now we're gonna go from the 232 to the 145. This little sucker right here. Spin it back on. And before you tighten it up too much, just get it finger tight. You want to slide back 
and check for any slack. See how there's a little bit of slack? What you're gonna do is you're gonna open it up, back this off just a little bit with your fingers and get it to the point where there's no slack. Still a little bit. Okay, no slack. At that point, open it up. Put the wrench back on the valve pin cap. And you're gonna tighten the back locking ring. My hands are probably in the way. Let me see if I can move it down so you can see a little better. There we go, I'll have to readjust it. But that's what the back piece is for. That locking ring is gonna lock that cap into position. Let me check the gap one more time. Nope, no play at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and snug it down just a little bit. Don't over tighten it, you just want it snug enough. Right there. Check that out, no slack. And that's how easy it is to change out the orifice. Now let's send another shot string down range. All right, now that we have the point one, four, five orifice installed, showed you how easy it was. Top back off, we're 3,013 PSI. Change the information inside the chronograph. Let's send a shot string down. And what we'll do, same thing as last time. Once we get under 2,000 PSI, we're going to call it quits. Let's see how it goes. Let's start now. And we're going to fast forward so it's a lot quicker. Hearing protection. Okay, that was shot number 20. We're still over a thousand feet per second. And we have 2,560 plus PSI left to go. So on this hot Texas day, let's keep going. Wow, it's hot. 41 shots, and we still have 75 PSI to go. Let's see how this goes. Two thousand thirty-five PSI. Ooh, forty-four shots, and we're two thousand fifteen PSI. That's forty-five shots. And the tank is stabilizing. Let's see? Two thousand PSI. Oh, two thousand one. Let's go for shot number forty six.
Okay. Wow. With the Condor set up, tuned to max, 0.145 orifice, 46 shots, and we are at 1,983 PSI. That is pretty badass. And standard deviation is 15.4 feet per second. Wow, that's awesome. That's how much adjustability the ring lock kit gives to the shooter. It's amazing. And that's just the middle of the line orifice. There's smaller ones than that. And there's the make your own. Now I'm gonna pop up the graphs and show you the two shot string. And remember everyone, anybody that's purchased a Condor or Condor SS recently, you already have this valve in your gun. The 232 orifice, this thing is awesome. Shooting a JSB 25 cal, 25.39 grain. First shot, 1214 feet per second. 20th shot, 1108 feet per second, all at over 2000 PSI. Now we're onto the 145. That thing is rocking, look at that. First shot, 1005 feet per second. 46 shot, 977 feet per second. This ring lock kit gives you the ultimate in versatility. Make it your own, adjust it yourself. Everything about this thing rocks. You need to order one. You can go online to airforceairguns.com or call by phone 877-247-4867. Well, you know what to do. You know how to order it. You know how to get it. All you gotta do is make the call. As for us, I'm gonna go back to the air conditioner and Cameron behind the camera is sweating too.